Winter. It's left. Left. Look, you just go down the corridor, turn left, and wait in room five. Room five. Ah, now I'm understanding you. Room five. Yes. Jolly good, thank you. <laughs> oh, sorry, dearie me. I'm not going where I'm looking. No, no I wasn't looking where I was going. That made the two of us. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> Mrs. Courtney? Miss. Oh, sorry. I'm your new teacher, Jeremy Brown, B.A. Oxon. You're a man? Yes. Well, this is most unsatisfactory. This won't do at all. Well, I assure you my credentials are impeccable. Academically, perhaps. I'm talking about sex. Oh, I also assure you my morals are perfectly respectable, too. I'm referring to the fact that you are a man. I distinctly requested the local authority to send me a woman teacher. Especially in view of what happened with Mr. Warburton. Mr. Warburton? Yes. He was teaching English to foreign students last term. I'm afraid he only lasted a month. Then he departed. Dead? Demented. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the strain was too much for him. Typical of the male sex, no stamina. <laughs> Always seemed to be able to cope at first, and then one day he just snapped. It was really quite disgusting. Really? What did he do? Climbed out of the classroom window onto the roof, took off all his clothes and stood there stark naked, singing, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Very distressing. Well, there's no need to worry on my account. I mean, I'm not likely to climb out of the classroom window. I know you aren't. Oh, thank you for your confidence. It has nothing to do with confidence. We've had the window frames nailed down. <laughs> Oh, very thoughtful. Well, I really would appreciate the job, Mrs. Courtney. Miss. Miss Courtney. I am qualified, and I rather do need a job, what with the economic situation and inflation. All right, and... there's no need to whimper. You can start immediately. Thank you. On a month's trial. Thank you. If you last that long. <laughs> I'll do my best. Now, uh, where will I find my students? Class five, down the corridor and turn left. Right. I'm looking forward to meeting them. I'm sure we're all going to get along extremely well. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. 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 Good You are committing a mistake. A mistake? Yes, please. You are not brown. We are brown. You are white. Uh, my name is Brown. I am your teacher. Ah, you professori. Yes. I must be your student. What, please? Marielencio! Thank you. Right, uh, would you all like to sit down? Sit down. Ah, so <laughs> Right, I'll just uh, take a note of all your names, nationalities, and occupations.
Jeeps. Tonkers. <laughs> Tonkers. Right. I walk in office. Good. Thank you. And your name? Anna Schmidt, German au pair. Ah. Usual German efficiency? Germans are always efficient. Not a... So... <laughs> Japanese. Much more efficient. Nine Germans are the best. Japanese make a much better television. And oh, Camelos. <laughs> please, let us have no racialism. In this class, all are equal. Your name? Giovanni Cupello. Italian. Where do you work? I work in Ristorante dei Popoli. A waiter? No, not a waiter. A cucuta. <laughs> A cuckoo de ravioli, a cuckoo de spaghetti, a cuckoo de lasagna, a cuckoo de everything. Mm, a chef. Okay. And your name? Andy? What is your name? Gaga. Uh, me, Jeremy Brown, you. But Andy Gaga. Max? Anna Schmidt, Giovanni Cupello, you. Oh, I'm not sure. 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 Yes, yes, write your name down. Good, good. No good. I need your name in English. No Urdu? No Urdu. I am here to learn English. I am here to learn English. What do you want? You don't know where to get it. I don't know what 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 to get it. Ah, certificate of registration. Jamila Ranja, housewife. Thank you. Good. And your name? I am Ali Nadim from Lahore. I'm working at the moment, not anywhere at all. You're unemployed? Yes, please. Only one day a week I'm working. Uh, what do you do then? I'm going to the unemployment exchange for to be collecting my money. Who oh, blimey? me? I get more money for not being working than when I'm working. Yes, but before you discovered this secret of eternal wealth, what did you do? Blimey, I worked <laughs> at the Taj Mahal. In Delhi? Oh, no, Patani. Taj Mahal can be the restaurant. Jali good chapati and papadam. A thousand apologies for my lateness. The omnibus was going backwards. <laughs> I'm sure there must be a more logical explanation. It is the absolute truth. I was told to be taking a number 27 omnibus, and I complied. But it went in a backward direction. <laughs> no, I think you meant it was going the other way. That is the gist of what I'm saying. A thousand apologies. Sorry. Uh, perhaps you'd like to sit next to Ali, your countryman. I cannot sit there. It's impossible. Why is it impossible? I'm sick. Oh, dear. <laughs> It's not contagious. Perhaps you ought to come back when you're better. I do not comprehend the gist of your conversation. Well, you said you were sick. No, 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 no. I am not referring to my physical state of mind. My religion is sick. And he is Muslim. Islam is the only true faith. And Muslims follow a false prophet. How dare you be speaking of God's holy messenger, you damn fool? Sikhs are unbelievers and infidels. Sikhs are peace-loving people. And if you are not careful, I will have much pleasure in dispatching you to your holy messenger with this. I will not tolerate any religious intolerance. Now put that knife away. He called me an infidel. Well, he didn't mean it, did you? Most definitely. 
by the five rivers of Punjab to slice your throat from there to there. Oh, ear to ear. Here to there, or oh, there to here. Yes, I swear. There will be no throat slicing in my class. If you want to do that sort of thing, you should have joined the sports and pastimes. <laughs> Put your knife away and be a good chap and go and sit down. How do you feel about Roman Catholics? Oh, I treat them like my brothers. Good. Well, you can go and sit next to Giovanni. A bit. Infidel, gentlemen, please. You're here to learn English, not start a holy war. And what is your name? Ranjit Singh. And you're from which country? Punjab. And what is your job? I am a very important member of the British underground. Underground what? <laughs> Just the underground. Mind the door! <laughs> oh, that underground. And your name? Harold Nagasumi. <laughs> My name is Cardo, a Japanese representative of Bushida Electronics. Very good, very good. <laughs> and finally, your name. Por favor. Your name. <laughs> what is your name? Por favor. Nome. Ah, nombre, sí. Juan Cervantes para servirle, señor. No need to ask what nationality you are. Por favor. <laughs> Spanish. Por favor. What is your job? Por favor. <laughs> Trabajo. Ah, trabajo, sí. Tree lager. Tree lager? But you like trees? <laughs> One gin tonic, two whiskey coca, tree lager. Tree lager? Sí. Ah, you work in a bar? Sí, sí, bar, bar. Oh. Well, Mr. Brown? Yes, thank you. Apart from one attempted murder and a possible race riot, uh, I seem to be coping reasonably well. Well, what I really came to inform you about was the registration fees for the students. Ah. Now, it's five pounds per head, and I should be grateful if you would collect the money and bring it to my office in your tea break. Right, I'll do that. Well, we have one thing to be grateful for, anyway. Sex won't be rearing its ugly little head. <laughs> Beg your pardon? Well, in my experience, it isn't race or religion that causes the problems. It's usually the presence of some foreign beauty. Jealousies, intrigues, all that sort of thing. Yes, well, looking at my class, I don't think we'd be too bothered with anything like that. I come to learn English. Have I come to the right place? <laughs> Mrs. Courtney. Miss. Miss. I just brought the registration fees for the students. Ah, good. Now, how many students have you? Nine. So there should be 45 pounds in there. Yeah, well, that all depends upon the rate of exchange. I don't quite follow you. Not all of them had uh, five pounds in English money, so I collected 29 pounds 50 in sterling, and the rest is made up of 2,000 yen, 3,000 lira, <laughs> 250 pesetas, 75 drachma, 50 francs, and 12 Deutschmarks. <laughs> According to this morning's financial papers, that should give us a profit of one pound forty-two and a half p. Then I suggest you take it to the bank in the morning and convert it to English currency. Right, I'll do that. Oh, by the way, how's the femme fatale? Ah, yes, Danielle. Well, at the moment she's in the tea room with Italy, Spain and Greece trying to establish diplomatic relations. <laughs> well, I hope she's not going to cause any bother. Oh, no, I'm sure she won't. Look, I'm not gonna sit here. No, it's me who's gonna be sitting here. And before you were sit over there. And before you were sit over there. You take it on me. Who, me? You go back sit where you were before. No, I sit here. You not sit here. Ha. Who's gonna be stopping me? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Yourself. You think you're tough? Come out the side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> where are you going? We go outside to have a punch down. You mean a punch down? <laughs> I'm going to where? Uh, how you say, yeah, knock his bloody block off. <laughs> we see who's a bloody blocker he's knocked it off. <laughs> oh, just a minute. What is all this about? I tell you, Mr. White. Brown. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> it's about where we sit. Well, what's wrong with where you were sitting before? It's uh, my eyes, Professor. I've got to sit nearer the front. Here. <laughs> 
Oh, I see. And I suppose it's got nothing to do with the fact that Danielle is sitting here too? She is? <laughs> I never noticed! You see, so my eyes, I'm a little shorter sighted. And also, I'm much a bigger liar. It's not true, Mr. Green. The name is Brown. You see, I'm a color blind as well. <laughs> and Max, I suppose you've got trouble with your eyes as well, have you? Oh, no, no, no. My eyes are okay. Uh, it's my ears. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not hearing very well. That's a likely story. What you say? <laughs> I say you both go back and sit where you were sitting before. Now. Santa Maria. Yeah, I hope you don't think I was, uh, how you say, too forward? No, no, I'm sure you weren't in any way to blame at all. Teacher, please. Yes. Oh. Mr. Blount? Yes? Please forgive my rateness. I apologize, but I lost my way. Not to worry. Uh, what is your name? Chung Suli. Suli? And where are you from? Democratic Le Fabric of China. <laughs> and what is your job? Secretary. Chinese diplomat. Very nice. <laughs> right, where shall we put you? Uh, Taro, how are relations between Japan and China? Depends on a political viewpoint. Japan, light wingo. China, right wingo. I see. Are you right wingo or left wingo? Right wingo. I follow teaching of Chairman Mao. Ah, well, in that case, you better sit next to Jamila, the Indian lady. All right? Thank you. Right. Now we will start by learning a few basic English verbs. And firstly, we will take the verb to be. I am English. You are Chinese, he is Italian, she is French, he is barbarian. <laughs> and you are asking for a kick up your big brown backside. Now look, <laughs> pay attention, please. I am. I am. You are. You are. He, she, or it oh, is. He, he, he or it is. Or or he, 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 we are. We are. You are. You are. are. They are. They are. All right. They are. I shall now go round the class and ask you each to give me a sentence using the verb to be. To be. To be. Taro. I am. Ah, so. <laughs> I am very happy to be. Learning go English. <laughs> Very good. Good. Giovanni. He is. He is a da fool. <laughs> good. But not is a da. He is a fool. Yes, he is a fool. <laughs> Max. Uh, she is. <laughs> she is beautiful. She is uh, wonderful. <laughs> she is... Yes, yes, thank you, Max. <laughs> Juan, it is. Por favor. <laughs> it is. Por favor. <laughs> it is raining. Lloviendo. It is raining. Ah, no, you have it. <laughs> It is raining. No, it's raining. Santa Maria Maracci, it is raining. We'll skip you for the moment. Por favor. Uh, doesn't matter. Sit down. <laughs> Suli, it is. It is duty of every citizen to overthrow imperial government. So say Chairman Mao. <laughs> yes, well, that's his opinion. <laughs> Good. Danielle? We are. Mm -hmm. uh, we are lucky to have such great. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, please. Very true. I mean, uh, 
Ali. You are. You are. You are waiting for me to speak an answer. Well done. And unfortunately, I'm not understanding the question. I want you to give me a sentence using you are. I am. No, not I am. You are. For example, you are from Pakistan. I am from Pakistan. Good, yes, but now use you are. But I cannot say you are from Pakistan because you are not, are you? <laughs> Repeat after me. You are English. No, no, I am from Pakistan. <laughs> what am I? You are confusing me. <laughs> you are stupid poof. <laughs> Don't you call me poof? Sit down, please. Right. And well, there's really not much more we can do. Can you all get the textbooks I was telling you about? What I would like you to do is some homework, all right? I want you to write me an essay. A short story about your life here in England. Things you do, the things you like. And I'll see you all on Wednesday. Ah, oh, Mrs. Courtney. Miss. Miss. But well, I've just dismissed the class for the night. I think we've just about covered all there is to for the first session. You look a trifle under the weather. Job getting you down already. Well, no, no, I'm fine. Never felt better. There's just one thing, though. Yes? That window you nailed down, the one Mr. Warburton climbed out of. What about it? I think we ought to put a few more nails in, just to be on the safe side. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.